Uh, at first, I would like to say that for us Syrians, the passage of 10 years to the Syrian crisis does not call for celebrating the revolution as some are trying to portray the situation. Mm -hmm. It is with a heavy heart. We remember this day as it marks 10 years of suffering for Syrian citizens after the United States, some Western and regional countries spent tens of billions of dollars in order to break up Syria and terminate its role in the region, especially in facing the policies of occupation and hegemony. So back to your question, the Security Council has primary, primary responsibility under the United Nations Charter for the main, maintenance of uh, international peace and security. And fortunately, some of the member states, permanent member states at the Security Council, namely the US, UK and France, have failed miserably in meeting this uh, duty. It is no secret that they supported and are still supporting terrorist groups such as ISIS, Al-Nusra, HDS, etc. Mm -hmm. In all ways of support. Uh, be it uh, funding, weapons, training, media, facilitating their infiltration into uh, Syria, you name it. These very same countries are saving no efforts in prolonging this crisis in order to serve their own agendas at the expense of the lives of millions of uh, innocent Syrians. On the other side, the situation as gloomy and unbearable as is would have been even worse if it wasn't for the support of the Russian Federation and China for Syria in this arena. 